Well, winter is setting in here in Minnesota, and I want to do some testing on the self-heated batteries on how they actually work when they're below freezing. Let's check it out. All right, I left a uh, SOK battery out all night. Let's uh, bring it inside and see what the temperature is. So this SOK battery right now is at about 10 degrees Celsius. I meant to say negative 10 degrees Celsius which is pretty cold Fahrenheit too. Keep in mind zero Celsius is freezing. So it's at negative 10 right now. Uh, <clears throat> the way this battery is supposed to work is if we apply power to it, it will start warming before it allows charging. So let's give that a try. All right, we've got some leads connected here. Well, right away, we're pulling about 110 watts from the, uh, or 108 now, uh, from the power supply into the battery. All right, so you can see this here. Heating status is on, and we're already at eight degrees Celsius, or negative eight, rather. So let's keep an eye on this and see how it goes. Wow, All right, this is live. We're already at negative seven, so we're coming up pretty quick. All right, my phone kept uh, disconnecting, so pulled up the app on my computer here, and you can tell we're still at zero degrees Celsius. And as you can tell, I mean, the time hasn't changed a whole lot. In the span of about 10 minutes here, we've gone from negative 10 C to pretty much almost ready to accept a charge. So we're pretty much just waiting for when this current number shows something, probably when that hits 1C. So it should happen any moment here. The other thing we'll probably see is that amp number will go up. It looks like it's using just a straight 100 watts almost. So let's see here, any minute here, there it goes, one. Oh, it wants to, it's trying. And if we're curious here, what is the temperature of the case itself? Well, it is definitely coming up now. I guess the case of this battery is at 47, but down here below, it's still 41, which is probably imparting a little bit of heat to this, but internally the cells, the battery cells, it's gonna take a long time for those to actually warm up. So I, I don't feel like the ambient temperature in here is playing a large role. Clearly, I mean, we're putting 100 watts of power into the heating elements to warm this thing up. There's the time again, it's been a couple minutes. All right, quick little check-in. It's uh, been a little bit later. It's about 10.46, and we're at 3C, no charging. I'm sure this is in the manual, <laughs> but uh, you know, I like to figure it out. Oh, now we're at 4C. I wonder if it needs to come all the way up to 5C. Or there's multiple temp sensors in there, I don't know. Ah, uh, look at that. If I just read the manual, it says when the battery temperature exceeds 5C, the heat pad turns off and charging the cells is re-enabled. So, the question is, does it has to have to reach 5C or 6C? Because it says exceeds 5C, so. Let's, uh, let's see how long that takes. And the other big question that we wanna answer here is just how long does it take to get up to that temperature? Now we're cheating a little bit because it's warmer in the shop, but uh, like I said, I think that mass that was at negative 10 this morning uh, would have taken a long time to warm up on its own. That answers that question. At 5C, charging is enabled. And now you can see 10 amps are going into the battery. Well, how about that? So I think what we learned here is a couple of things. Um, one, you're gonna need at least 100 watts per battery to heat them up from cold. Now, what is it gonna take to actually keep them warm? Uh, Cause that's heating pads probably gonna cycle on and off. But um, this just underscores why I always recommend as much solar as possible. If you're trying to keep your batteries warm in the winter, plus charge things, all that sort of stuff, you know, uh, 
three, four of these batteries, that's three or 400 watts of solar, which really translates into, you probably need 800 on your roof if they're flat mounted. If you can tilt, it's a little bit different. Um, so anyway, the other thing we learned is uh, they enable charging at five degrees which I guess was available in the man in the manual. But again, we like to verify things here. So um, I appreciate you watching and I'd uh, love a thumbs up, a subscribe. Uh, if you wanna see more experiments and more testing of things like this, leave a comment down below about what you would like to see. And until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks, bye.